Hey everyone, today I want to show you a new exciting feature inside the NA10, which is the MCP server trigger and MCP client. MCP is a model context protocol, which is essentially a bridge between LLMs like Claude or Cursor and NA10 endpoints, which you can see actually on your screen. Calendar, email, external tools, all connected to the MCP server trigger. MCP server trigger basically grants the access to Claude or any other LLMs that can be connected to use and execute the external tools that connected all to this trigger. But before we set it all up, I would well like to show you a quick demo inside the NA10 and show you how it even works. So we can see we have different tools connected and I wanna show you what the social media tool is. Uh, let's actually go to it. And it's very similar to the workflow we've created in the past. In the past video, I think it was called how to create your own AI social media agent. And you can see we have the Mod, chat model connected, we have the memory, super base vector store where we store data so AI agent can create better posts for us. Pretty similar, uh, pretty simple. We have the one executed by another workflow trigger set up all here. So let's go back and uh, let's test it. Let's put it to the test. But before we test it, let's go and I want to show you the MCP agents that I've created, which uses the MCP client tool. The MCP client tool was, is going to call the other workflow was the MCP server trigger and uh, trigger the event, meaning that that workflow is going to get executed and call the tool which we want to be called. For example, create an event for tomorrow at 7 p.m. It's going to call the Google Calendar, create Google Calendar event. So actually, let's do that and let's go back to the MCP server. Let's press test the workflow. Let's go to the MCP agent and let's say create an event for today at 6 p.m. So the workflow started to work. It's gonna call the tool and MCP server trigger got triggered and it should create the event. Let's go back to, let's actually go to the Google Calendar and see, yes, it got executed, meaning that everything works and everything go, uh, went smooth. So let's go back to our MCP agent and let's create a random IG post that Basically, we're going to ask to create the random IG post. It's going to call the MCP client tool, which is going to trigger the event and MCP server trigger. And it's going to call the external workflows that I showed you before, which is similar to how to create your own AI social media assistant. Uh, let's go actually to the MCP server, test the workflow, and let's go back to the MCP agent. And let's say, create a random IG post. So this one is going to take a bit longer because at the end of the day it calls the MCP server trigger then MCP server trigger calls the social media tool which takes a bit longer as well because it has to check the database as well even though it doesn't need to because at the end of the day we're doing the random IG post right now uh, but you can see it got executed and let's go to our social media workflow and let's see if we got any executions yes uh, it's 548 and let's see what we got so we got, here's the draft for engaging Instagram. Save our new game. And let's check what we got. Yes, as you can see, it's exactly the same outputs that we got from the external workflow, but now we have it here. Meaning that everything works perfectly and everything works correctly. But now, since everything is set up, I want to show you how to set it up with LLM like Claude and uh, test it there. Before we set up Claude with the MCP server, we have to ensure that we're using the latest NA10 version, which you can see on the screen, I'm using the 1.88 latest beta. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see none of those MCP nodes inside the NA10 workflows. So please make sure that you have the latest version and let's go set up the Claude itself. So once you set your NA10 version to the latest, you can start using MCP server trigger and start building. So let me move my camera to the left corner and let's add the first step, which is going to be MCP server trigger. So Let's add it all. So when you set up the cloud with the MCP server, you're going to be using production URL. Application is going to be none. Uh, for pass, I'm just going to call it MCP. Let's add a couple of tools that we tested earlier in our demo inside the NA10. It's going to be calendar. So I'm going to I'm going to be using my calendar with my own credentials. So let me choose my calendar. Start. You can let the model define this parameter, which works perfect. Or you, if you want to see the JSONs, this is how it's going to look from AI and string and from AI start string and so on. So when it comes to another tool, let's use the call NA10 workflow tool, which we're going to be calling the workflows that create social media posts for us that I showed also earlier in the video. So it's going to be called social 
Ninja tool and here call this tool I'm asked to create a social yeah social media media post here database is going to be source is going to be database workflow let's choose that workflow social media tool and query let the model define that so we can save it now you have to make sure that it's active and now we can go inside the cloud but before we go inside the cloud you guys make sure that you google um download cloud desktop and you download it as a desktop version because that's the only way you can set it up at this point so once you're inside the cloud desktop you'll be able to set it all up together so as you can see i already tested it before and uh, i had the mcp server set up but for the purpose of this video i deleted it so we can set it up all together from the scratch so let's go to the cloud settings and inside cloud settings you'll have general and developer you'll go to the developer and you'll click the edit config so when you press edit config inside the cloud it will move you to the folder with a bunch of cloud files and one of them will be cloud desktop config json you press on that one and you copy and paste this json from what you uh, can see here on the screen but when you go to the https where you can see the url you basically paste the urls that we copied from the server trigger inside the na10 and now you'll have to, all you have to do is file and save it so once it's saved all you have to do is reboot the cloud and once it's rebooted you'll see that the tools are available to you right now so let me reboot my cloud and i'll, I'll show you the tools that are available now so i opened the cloud again and you can see we have two tools available we have the google calendar tool and from server na10 as well as social media tool meaning that everything worked correctly and this is the tools that we connected to our server trigger so let's put it to the test and see how it even works so let's ask to generate a random social media post generate a random social media post so let's wait it's going to take a while and it's going to ask us to allow for this chat so we're going to allow this chat to use that tool and let's see what kind of results we get I think it's going to work perfectly fine and we're going to go and look at the logs after so we can see that it worked perfectly here's a random social media post for you dive into the gold rush of AI and so on so let's now ask to create an event for today at 9 p.m can you create a Google Calendar event for 9 p.m. until 10? So now it shouldn't ask us to. Allow, oh, it asks again. Hello, uh, for this chat. So let's see. I've created a Google Calendar event for you uh, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. tonight. So let's go and see logs and see if uh, everything was created correctly and everything worked correctly so now we're back in na10 execution logs let's go check out what kind of output the ai agent generated as you can see the output is exactly the same that we saw in cloud meaning that this tool worked perfectly fine and most likely our server trigger was set up correctly but before that let's check the google calendar tool and see if this google calendar event that we asked for 9 p.m was created as well so let's see as you can see yes we can see 9 to 10 pm event was created meaning that this tool also was successfully executed by cloud meaning that everything is set up perfectly and everything works the way it's supposed to work i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions and i'll try to get back to you all thank you and enjoy the rest of your day Bye bye